Hi guys, servus and hello world. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the different ways you could incorporate the different boards that are already out there into OpenGrid. Uh, that's one of the parts I'm most excited about, I would say, um, because it, uh, it shows the strength uh, of the board itself. So there are different boards out there, there are different solutions out there and uh, what I don't like and what I try to do with MultiConnect already is to create solutions uh, that allow you to exchange the different systems you have while still keeping the stuff you, you've already printed. Um, so with MultiConnect, for example, I've created the connectors for um, MultiBoard, I've created some for OpenGrid as well now, um, and I've created some for GIFs, I've created some for SCADAs, I've tried to create the, the multi-connect system for everything that's out there because I think people will uh, like to have the same accessories connected to different uh, boards and different solutions as well. Of course, th this only works um, if the, the, um, the dimensions of the board are somewhat compatible. So if you, for example, have something that is only using one column um, of the board, it's most likely going to work because you basically hang this on, on one multi-connect um, head, uh, which means uh, this will be easy to, to exchange to another system. But with OpenRit, I wanted to move this one step further and I wanted to incorporate the different um, board systems out there. So the first one I want to start with is actually multi-board because that's the one I started doing uh, multi-connect uh, with and um, as multi-grid and as open grid has a different grid size has a bigger grid size uh, we actually have enough room to get this tile in there this tile here is a, f a full um, multi-board tile which you can just push into your board so now that you have this in uh, this means of course you can use any of the um, multi-connect uh, accessories like this normal snap for example and it will just work it will just be able to to uh, be used with this um, same as I said with uh, the different dimensions of the board uh, those two if you have multiple of those those two will be um, apart by 28 millimeters so things that use more than one of those uh, tiles will not be as easy to be used, um, but I have a several several of those ties. So this one here is the uh, mid-size screw, which you can of course just get in there. And then there is the uh, small size screw as well, which of course you can put in there. Um, so we have the full multi-board grid, uh, the full multi-board tile, uh, the mid-size um, screw and, and push fit and the small screw right here. This means if you have single tile applications, you can just easily uh, reuse those or keep using those. And this is of course true if you want to connect multi-connect again. This is true if you want to use any of the push fit connectors. Um, Sadly, it's of course not true if you want to use the pegboard holes because the pegboard hole will be 28 millimeters apart uh, now and it's not compatible because 25 is different from 28, basically. So that's the first system that uh, is just usable with open grid without much hassle. The next one uh, that I did try to incorporate here, and this is much harder, is um, the honeycomb storage wall system. So this one here is the, the honeycomb storage wall hex, and of course you can just push this in as well, um, and then attach things to it. Um, the honeycomb storage wall has one drawback. Sadly, it's a little bit thicker than what OpenGrid uses, and OpenGrid already um, is thicker than what multiboard does, uh, so it sticks out a little bit. This is really just um, for the desperate ones, but you can do it. You could attach your um, 
honeycomb storage wall accessories to open grid as well. And then of course, um, I wanted to, eco as, as the board is compatible to Gridfinity, as I said before, um, two of the Gridfinity boxes are three of the uh, open grid tiles. Um, and there's this new system that has just um, been released, which is GIFs, um, which I like very much. I, I don't think it's suitable for your living room, but it's a good system. It's well designed. It, it um, has great benefits uh, when it comes to strength and stuff like that. So as I'm compatible with Gridfinity and GIFs use, uses the Gridfinity grid size, I thought it would be nice to have a uh, GIFs screw, screw uh, snap. It's a directional snap, so you have to push it in um, tilted, um, but it works pretty nicely. So if I push this in here, and then it just snaps in place and you, you can basically attach everything uh, that is attachable to a GIFs, um, to the GIFs system. So besides that, I thought it would be nice to allow standards to be used that are already there, that have been there before 3D printing basically. So uh, this one here is an example for that. Uh, this tile here, also a directional snap because I think it makes more sense for this use case. Um, and I used this to attach uh, the Sonos Roam um, here in my office. I, I will show you a little bit, a little video about that. Um, this allows you to push in a M3 hex nut on the back of the snap, and then you can just attach uh, anything using M3 screws. Uh, you can push this in and it, it works just like that. I've, uh, I've put a lot of weight on this here. Uh, I think about four or three or four kilograms and it, it, and it did just work because of the directional snap and uh, that of course this is metal. Metal is stronger than plastic. So it works like a charm. Of course uh, if you uh, tilt it outwards it's a directional snap. It's easy to be removed. Um, that's nice as well. And talking about metric screws, there's a different version of the open grid full board um, that has, instead of cover ups uh, in between, it has holes in there. And those are actually M6 screw holes, which means you can basically screw in a M6 screw there. Um, I've used a, a um, standard nozzle for this because those are uh, basically M6. M6 screws, uh, and, and as you see, it screws in nicely. Uh, this is a very strong connection and it can be used uh, just like that. So uh, this is nice um, if you have uh, heavy weight you want to attach to, to your board as well. And it's just a different version. You just need to download and print this version and, and everything will be working uh, like intended. So that's nice as well. And if you want to get really, really, really crazy, the M6 screw hole allows you to add M5 or M4 heat inserts. So that's also something you can do if you really want to get crazy. Uh, my heat, heat inserts that I used here are sadly um, too long, so uh, this doesn't work as well. But there are others to, to get out there. I think CNC Kitchen had a, has a bunch of those that are nice, that are uh, good. So I would suggest buying those. And this one will be one of the strongest connections. The uh, metric screws that you can use on your open grid, uh, I think will be just a great benefit. <coughs> so have I missed something? I don't think so. I have shown you that the open grid system allows you to um, attach different types of uh, existing systems onto here. here. Uh, this includes uh, the system being Gridfinity compatible uh, with two of the Gridfinity um, sizes being compatible to three of the grid size. Um, it integrates multi-board pretty nicely. It integrates the honeycomb storage wall and integrates GIFs. Uh, of course, you can use multi-connect 
um, because I created this and this was one of the first things I re-added. And of course, you have the full Open Grid underwear co collection that you can use with uh, Open Grid as well. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. If you haven't seen the Open Grid introduction video, you can uh, click the video here. And I hope I see you soon back in this channel again. Um, bye.